Hey guys, welcome back. Wanted to go over something here that's kind of bugged me. This is stuff that I get in the mail, junk mail, from Publishers Clearinghouse. And I've amassed these over, I don't know, a couple months. What really amazed me is what they are asking for some of these. And a lot of these are in circulated condition. And when you buy them, I've, I've purchased a few, and that's probably why they've sent these to me, but I've purchased a few of them just to see what the condition of these are that you get. And they are in very circulated condition, you know, not even borderline collectible or anything. They're circulated except for the ones that are advertised as otherwise. So I have scanned all these in so you can look at them here further in the video, but I'm just going to take a few and we're going to go on eBay and see what we can find as far as what they're asking. So for example, here we have a roll of 50 Lincoln wheat cents and they're asking $14.95, $15. Look, go on eBay, look at the sales prices recently, $4.50, $3.99 plus shipping. So you're around the seven to $8 mark and they're asking $15. You can jump over to the 1963 silver proof set. So they're wanting $13.99. What is that? Uh, five payments. They're wanting $69.95 for that. Sales price is $18, $19. So again, you are getting ripped off if you're buying that. It may be a new in package set, but you're still overpaying. 2020 MS70 graded NX, A-N-A-C-S. Silver Eagle, Silver Dollar. They're wanting $23.99, five payments. So that is $119.95 that they want. Most recent sales prices around $40 to $45. So again, you're insanely overpaying for that. So just looking at the others, an S Mint Silver Dollar, $39.95, and they will hide in there. I don't think it actually says on this one, but in circulated condition, those are, you know, six to twelve dollars, something like that. The infamous gold-plated, so, uh, gold-plated quarters, fifty-six coins for a hundred and thirty-nine dollars. Ken, don't pay this. Do not buy this stuff, please. Everything else here, ten dollars silver certificate. So you can see that they want eighty-nine ninety-five for that, and it does say in circulated condition, displayed in a fancy display which means nothing. So you go and go on eBay, search for that silver certificate, 1934, $10. Most recent sales prices. Well, those don't count. Those are reproductions. Let's go down here. There you go. $11. Somebody paid $11 for $10 plus 99 cent shipping. So a $2 premium. Again, do not pay. Wow. That is incredible. Yeah, more of them. Continuing on, let's see what else we have here. You know, Eisenhower dollar, 40%. They want, uh, what is that, 8 times 5, they want $40 for that. You can find those for around $10 all day long. Gold layered quarters, uh, foreign coins from around the world, which, you know, they get for nothing because most of the countries over in Europe went to the Euro. So the old money is worthless. AACGS XF40 Liberty Dollar. What are they going for here? Let's find out. So it uses their own third party grading system, which means absolutely nothing. I've done videos on those before. They're fairly close. But you can see that the sales price is around $20. They want 50. So again, overpaying. Gold-plated uh, Native American dollars, 90% silver dimes, 90% quarters. Again, they're about three to four dollars a piece, so you're overpaying. Morgan silver dollar, they're wanting about seventy dollars for for an 1880s. They don't even tell you what it is, what the mint mark is, etc. So it will obviously be some common date, well-worn coin. But just wanted to share these with you guys. Just buyer beware. That's, that's the point I'm driving home here. So just looking at a couple more. 2019 AACGS, that's that third party, which 
you know, has no significance at all. So you're just buying a 50 cent piece uncirculated for $15. MS-65, so it's still uncirculated, but go in, Kennedy, half dollar, clad, uncirculated, so it's not approved for anything, $2.35, $1.74. $1.75. So that's that's what you're paying. So there's still a premium for those that you're going to pay over the face value, but even when they're slabbed in something like NGC or PCGS, there's still a premium, but for $15, not acceptable. Gold layered uh, pennies, that's pretty common. You know, they want $20 for the three of those. 1992 US Mint proof set. Not even the silver one, just the regular, regular one. They want $20 for 2015 colorized silver eagles. Don't buy into this. They want $74.95. They are going for face, or well, not face value, but silver value, which, you know, somewhere the premium, it's around $40 right now for the total for silver plus the premium. And others, it's just, it's not worth it, guys. So thanks again. Please like the video, comment down below, and of course consider subscribing. We'll see you soon guys. Thanks for watching.